this is Alfie and uh, you're watching Road to the Warzone episode 17, Painting Saigo. Okay, um, so Saigo is one of the uh, RPG models, if you want to see the unboxing link. And, uh, well, it's uh, one of my favorite miniatures of all time, okay? Um, so I uh, wanted to, to go for something, you know, really, really simple, but yet, you know, very elaborate. Okay, so let's take a look at the video and then, you know, I'll see you in the outro. So let's get the miniature primed and I'm going to use an airbrush, okay? My new <laughs> airbrush. So uh, Vallejo Surface Primer in black and I'm going to use airbrush flow improver and airbrush thinner even though it's not really necessary but my compressor doesn't have enough enough air pressure nor a valve to regulate so I need the, the, the paint to be very very thin okay, so that it comes out nicely and also uh, for the highlights later on I'm going to use uh, Vallejo white surface primer okay, so this is me priming the, the miniature in black and now I'm going to do the, the highlights. Okay, for that I need to practice a little bit, you know, for the, the flow, to make sure the flow is okay. And I spray uh, the miniature from, from the top to simulate the light hitting. The miniature, and that will give me the, the points where the light hits later on for the highlights. So I can do the highlights there. Uh, right, so what I've done here, uh, well, what I'm going to do in the, in the video is I'm going to paint the straps and I'm going to use flat as an oak. I'm going to use a combination of it. Um, but for the tunic, uh, as you can see, uh, what I've tried to do was to, to work with the airbrush in layers. Okay, so uh, instead of uh, instead of going for white or gray highlights for the for the black tunic, what I tried to do, but I I didn't, I didn't succeed really, was uh, to get that effect, you know, that kind of like highlight effect uh, with using there. But you know, in the end, it uh, it turned out to be just too blue. Okay, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so this is me doing the, the scrap stuff. Okay, for the sh uh, shoulder pads, I'm going to try a little bit of uh, wet blending as well. So I'm going to go from from gunmetal grey to uh, silver, mixing with uh, a bit of nice medium as well. Okay, so what I do is I apply the darkest uh, color, then uh, without mixing the lighter tone, then with a damp brush, damp clean brush, I mix the translation. Uh, right, sorry, I had a bit of a technical issue and uh, I can't show you the footage, I, I lost it somehow. Um, so I'll talk you through what uh, what I've been doing so far. Okay, so first of all, what I've done is I've airbrushed the white bits in the in the tunic. Okay, um, not uh, one hundred percent happy with the results, so I'll do a little bit of uh, you know a few retouches here and there. I've also painted the uh, fleshy the fleshy bits grey to tone down the the black the priming, and also I wanted. Uh, well, also the straps and the guns, as you can see there. And uh, as I was saying, I wanted to give the katana and, and wakizashi uh, almost like a, uh, I don't know how to say it, like a dark, uh, glowy, uh, mystical feel to it. So I did a bit of uh, wet blending from black to, to see, going through gunmetal, gunmetal. Okay, now I'm going to paint the 
we need on, on his belt. And for that I'm going to mix um, Russian uniform for the highlights and use dark green for you know for the uh, actual color of the grenades themselves. And I'm going to mix them you know, with uh, I mean I'm going to add the glaze medium to to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add a little bit of wet blending, I'll show you how to do it. Alright. Okay, in this case, uh, wet blending is very easy to do. First of all, I paint the, the dark part. Okay. Very well. Thin down. And then... Clean the brush. I go for the for the lighter color or highlight, and then I paint the the lighter part. Okay, and now with a clean damp brush, I just mix it. So that there's a nice transition. Yes, sorry, the light here is not great. But, well, now rinse and repeat. And that's that's how I would blend. Okay, so for the floor, for the flesh, um, you know, as you can see, I'm not painting the, the mask. What I'm doing is just keeping a bit of a ninja mask. And also, he seems to be barefoot because you can see the toes. Uh, over them. And the hands. But what I'm going to do is uh, also to give him a very mysterious feel to, to him, I'm going to mix uh, basic skin tone to sky green. Okay. Okay, but now I'm going to paint the, the bit of armor that shows under the, the tunic. Okay, and I'm going to use the, the usual uh, Mishima armor, which is a mixture of uh, flat red, a hint of dark Prussian blue, and metal medium. Okay. The reason why I'm adding a, a bit of red is to, to add a bit of a hot color to the overall skin, which is really, really cold colors. A bit of contrast. Okay, once again, I had problems with the with the footage. I lost it somehow, so I'll uh, I'll just tell you what I've done. Okay, so I finished the. Uh, the feet, uh, and I still need to do the sandals. I put some putty in, uh, in the joint here, and I painted it black. And uh, I think that's pretty much everything, you know, and all the tiny details around the uh, katanas and all that. You know, I still have some few tatas to to finish, like you know, the, the white bits in the, in the katana handle. Okay, and I've also been able to to base the, the base. Do some basing. Okay, um, I sort of pictured him to be training in a, in a Zen garden, you know, one of these, you know, uh, gravel, gravelly rock Japanese gardens. Uh, so I used a technique that you can you can see in the link. You know, it's a it's a video by by David Top Minions, and he'll explain exactly what that. Uh, so it's just a mixture of. Uh, uh, fine grey gravel and sodium bicarbonate with uh, 
uh, you know, a cyano credit, well, super glue. Okay, so what I want to do now, as I'm not very happy with uh, the way that I've airbrushed uh, the highlights, uh, I'm going to, to do a bit of wet blending. So I have mixed um, um, four parts of purple to two parts of uh, dark brush and blue to two drops, you know, really tiny drops of black to create a very, very dark uh, purple. And I'm going to use that as a mid-tone. I'm going to use the black as the darker tone, and I'm going to keep this this blue uh, this blue as the as the highlight. Okay, so I'm going to try and, and do wet blending. So that's what I'll do now. Okay, so that's more or less the idea. Okay, that's what I was looking for. A nice a nice gradient going from black to to purpley purpley blue. Okay, so now I'll do the um the knotting, I don't know how you call that actually, the you know the white bits in the katana and then I'll apply a wash uh, in the flesh bits and uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. So now, uh, in the meantime, while the while the wash is drying, I'm going to dry brush the the base. Okay, so I'm just going to use neutral grey and just a normal dry brush. It's not really necessary, but just to be fair. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, I've also applied a black wash to the to the base. Okay, so you can see that it's probably more shaded than <laughs> than the last time you saw it. Okay. okay, and here we have Saigo after the wash again. Um, I still need to do a few retouches, okay? But that's essentially the, the idea, okay? This is after the wash, as you can see. It's not entirely finished, but uh, pretty much uh, everything that I was looking for with this miniature is sort of achieved, okay? So I'm quite happy. Right, so uh, after this, what I would need to do is uh, base him, you know, s s glue him to the to the base, apply a little bit of matte varnish, and um, as I said, you know, a few retouches, and uh, a little bit of gloss varnish 
for the for the shoulder pads and the swords and that will be it so I'll show you I'll show you once it's finished Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, tried uh, a number of techniques uh, to a varying level of success, <laughs> but mainly, you know, airbrushing, uh, you know, to, to apply a, a base coat, uh, brushing, wet blending, and you know, a little bit, a little bit of everything really. I hope you you enjoy the the video and uh, that you like the result. And that'll be that'll be it for for this week. Thank you very much for watching, and as usual, like, share, subscribe. You know, let's grow this channel. And let's make awesome you know, the main game. Alright, so uh, that's it for this week. Thank you very much. See you later.